sorry I don't have a more interesting set. This outlet is trying its best, but it's not adding a whole lot. You work with what you got, right? I feel like one of the most important things in life is knowing your vices and just learning to put more obstacles in front of your bad choices. For example, one thing is that I don't buy snacks. I didn't grow up snacking um, and we pretty much don't snack now. If we had snacks in our house, just in general, honestly, just trying to not have things in the house that I don't want to be tempted by. I don't want to have the conundrum, you know, the little trick that you tell yourself, oh, there's only five cookies left. I better just eat them quick so that they're not going to be here to tempt me tomorrow. I don't bake. If we have any baking in the house, it's a David, and that's a very, very rare because we have this thing that we call sugar Sundays. So we pretty much just only have sugar on Sundays. Sundays, special occasions like birthdays and holidays. Some people have great willpower. My friend Rhonda, she can count out, you know, 10 M&Ms or whatever the serving size is, and she'll just eat those M&Ms and be happy. I'm not very happy like that. A few other simple things that I do is that I choose to cut out the, all the little extra calories that pop up that you don't necessarily think about but that really add. For example, I rarely ever drink calories. I don't want to drink calories. I like to chew my food, personally. The vast majority of the time I just drink water. Drinking water. Wow, I cannot tell you how much that helps my appetite. If I start drinking water early on in the day and drink it throughout the day and try to drink my whole eight cups, I have way less appetite. If I don't do that, I am hungry, con like so hungry and I just want to eat everything by the end of the day. That's one of my biggest tricks. At the beginning when you start drinking the right amount of water for your body, it can feel really overwhelming, especially if you don't like water. I like water fine, I don't love water. However, I did discover that once you start drinking the water, your body actually starts to recognize that it needs it. It starts to be way easier to drink that full amount and I definitely have to have a water bottle in order to drink. If I have to try to count my cups, that's not gonna happen. No way, Jose. <laughs> so I have a water bottle with me as much as possible and just drink. That is probably the number one thing that helps me in general. If I haven't been drinking my water like I try to do throughout the day and it gets to meal time and I'm really hungry, sometimes I will just have myself drink a glass of water before the meal. I know that maybe is not the most awesome for digestion, but it definitely helps me feel more full and not eat as much as I would otherwise. Some people are super healthy and just cut out pizza or make healthy pizza. No, I really like pizza. I'm not gonna cut it out probably anytime soon, but I just always try to dab all the grease off my pizza. Who needs all the grease? And plus, it makes it less messy. I also just cut out extra condiments. I don't use extra condiments. I don't use ketchup for fries. I don't care. Yeah, some things might taste a little bit better or be a little bit better with the extra condiments, but you get used to whatever you choose to get used to and you can be happy with it. And personally, I love mustard, which helps a lot because there's like no calories in mustard. So I use that instead of mayo. I don't ever use mayo hardly at all. Just any condiments that you can think of to cut out or substitute with something better, I try to do that. So I think that's it for my tips. I'm sure I probably forgot something because I was just kind of rambling through this whole thing. Oh, there's only five cookies left. I better just eat them quick.